Welcome back to the Clipso Tutorials. In this session, we'll be talking about another one of our efficiency tools called Subsequent Evaluation. This is a tool that is built into Clipso to allow you to save the measure data from any part number so that you can reevaluate it later on should the need arise. In order to turn this function on, you'll go to Resources, Results to File, and select to turn measuring points on. You can increase the limit for the number of data files that you would like to save out. Be careful what number you put in here. If you leave it at a default of five, it will overwrite continuously and you'll only have five as a maximum. In this example, we'll put in 1000 just so we don't overwrite anything. If you've already run a part, but you still want to save the measured data, you can go under File and Save Measured Points. This will save the points from the last run. However, if you want to have the points saved automatically, you'll want to use the Resources Results to File option. There are also two ways to reload the points should you choose to reevaluate them. Under File, you have the Load Measure Points option, and you can come in and select any points that have been saved at the program. The most effective way to reanalyze data is to go under Plan, Subsequent Evaluation, and Load Measured Points. You'll notice this window is very similar to the Run window in Calypso. However, rather than running the program, it's simply going to pull the raw data that was saved in the measure points files so that you can reevaluate it within your existing program. So you can see it pulls in automatically the data that I've already previously run. There is no run on the machine. This can be a very beneficial option if you ever need to rerun data from parts or if you need some additional data on particular features that have already been measured but evaluated in a different way. For instance, for any of the holes that I've measured, I can get diameter information for each of them even though it's not currently in the program. The last bit of information regarding subsequent evaluation is where the measured points are being saved. If you go into the measurement plan directory for the particular program that you're looking at, you'll notice that we now have a folder called ID Measured Points. This is where the data for all of the parts that you have already run will be stored. This is the default location for any Save Measured Points option. You'll notice that they are labeled numerically. This is based on the incremental part number that is added to the header. Whatever is input for your incremental part number is what will show up as the file name for each of the parts. This could be a serial number. It really can be any value that you put in the incremental part number to identify which part is being saved. And that is how you use subsequent evaluation in Calypso. Thank you for joining us for another Calypso tutorial.